Providence Island holds the promise of a past yet to be discovered. 200 years ago, freed American slaves settled here and founded Liberia. We visited the island in October 2021. Look at it now. The island appears to be shrinking. With the rising tide, a window into the past is disappearing, says young Liberian archaeologist Fode. It's very painful because this connects our histories. The area is under threat in that in the next few years, the water will cover the entire place, thereby erasing the entire historical site of the Republic. In the summer, Liberian and American archaeologists excavated parts of the island. They found ceramics from ships from the Caribbean, the Americas and Europe, but also further afield. Their findings brought more questions than answers. On the other side of the Atlantic, American archaeologist Matt Riley says it isn't just parts of Liberian history, but American history as well being lost to the rising water. Just about a meter below the surface, we are encountering the water table, artifacts that were already being absorbed into the riverbed system. And as the water table continues to rise, these archaeological deposits are at risk of being destroyed, losing the archaeological integrity of these very significant sites before we even have a chance to study them. And that goes for many of those significant heritage sites across the coastal region, all 19th century sites that were settled by free African Americans, which represent an unparalleled type of story in the history of the African diaspora. Almost 800,000 people across West Africa are displaced because of ongoing torrential rains and floods. Monrovia is barely a meter above sea level. With the rising ocean, the slums are sinking, and so are the historical sites. On Providence Island, archaeologists found the remains of vessels, artifacts, and settlements. But look at it now. It is for them a race against the tide to dig and retrieve what they can, because an important chapter of human history is disappearing as we speak. For young archaeologist Fode, there is a sinking feeling of grief to a land lost, to seeing his roots, his identity, vanish in the water. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Providence Island, Liberia.